NAMI Walks brings together individuals, groups, and families from across the state to celebrate recovery, remember those we've lost, and to advocate for a brighter future for everyone. This year's event is going to take place virtually on October 9th, which is a Saturday. So in keeping with other walks across the country, we have decided to host this year's walk virtually, which means that you can participate wherever you are in whatever way you want. Last year, we saw people hike, bike, bake, and skate. In 2020, with the sport of 90 teams and 644 participants, we raised over $170,000 in support of mental health for all. This year, we are hoping to set a record and raise $210,000 and hopefully engage 1,200 participants from across the state. NAMI Virginia and our 14 affiliate offices rely on the funds we raise during the NAMI walk season to support our crisis reduction services. We provide a range of free peer-led support groups, workshops, and educational programs across the state, both virtually and in person. These services are part of an important grassroots community-based safety net that can help prevent and mitigate crises, as long as people know that it's there and how they can utilize it. So the walk committee this year is seeking virtual and in-person volunteers for a few specific tasks. Instead of setting up tables and overseeing crowd control, walk committee members will have the opportunity to provide guidance and feedback as we work to plan this year's event. So there are four main categories that we've we're gonna put out there as ways you can get involved on the walk committee this year. The first one is what we're calling our crew neck t-shirt crew. We had some major postal service delays and the COVID-19 pandemic that made t-shirt distribution last year especially difficult. And we wanna avoid that again this year. So we're gonna try a new approach and we're seeking volunteers to help deliver t-shirts to affiliate offices across the state. So individuals who wanna join the t-shirt crew should have access to transportation and be able to travel during the months of August or September. T-shirt crew members should plan to travel to NAMI Virginia's Richmond office to pick up shirts. And in some cases, affiliates may wish to arrange a drive-through or low contact t-shirt pickup. T-shirt crew members can assist with these drive-through t-shirt events if they desire. The second way you can get involved with the WAC committee is by becoming a social media ambassador. Social media ambassadors will help promote the WAC by sharing NAMI WAC's Virginia marketing materials and communications, like our Facebook and Instagram posts, our newsletters, and the resources we share. This is a pretty passive but fun way to get involved that doesn't take a ton of time or commitment. We'll send emails to alert and prompt you for new opportunities to engage with the walk on social media. To fill this position, you should have your own social media account and a basic knowledge of how to share or make posts on the platform. This is one of my favorite groups, the gratitude group. They'll work closely with our WALK leadership team to reach out, onboard, and thank both participants and donors. You'll be provided with a basic script and talking points, but gratitude group members should feel comfortable making cold calls and leaving voicemails. Gratitude group members should have a basic understanding of who NAMI is and what services we provide. These group members will receive a weekly list of individuals to contact. We estimate it to be 15 or fewer calls per week. I think about one hour of work. You'll need access to a phone or another device to make the calls from, and you'll need a computer to report your calls via a Google spreadsheet I'll share. Finally, 
we have our walk think tank team. We are looking for a few creative, out of the box thinkers who can help us plan some really exciting and meaningful ways to engage with participants this walk season. The think tank team will meet monthly to discuss brainstorming and identify possible entertainment, advocacy, awareness, or sponsorship contacts. The think tank team members should be excited about networking, ready to work on creative ideas to bring together organizations, businesses, and individuals for the benefit of the community and in support of NAMI Walks Virginia. The Walk Think Tank team will meet once monthly beginning in May and running through September. The next steps to get yourself started in joining the walk committee will be to look for an email from me a little later this week. I think I'm gonna get it out tomorrow. <laughs> That'll include this short presentation as well as our flyer that lists all of these positions as well as their descriptions. You can go ahead and register for NAMI Walks Virginia. Our walk website is live. You can join a team, create a team or walk on your own. The NAMI Virginia team is always open to anyone who doesn't have a team and wants to join us. I'll send out the walk committee position descriptions on our flyer. And when, if you decide you'd like to join us, you can sign up for the walk committee by May 1st. I've got a registration link that I will also include in the follow-up email to this meeting. So that was a quick, short dive into what the walk committee will look like this year. And I am happy to take any questions. I knew this was gonna be short. I figured about 15 to 20 minutes, so we're right on time. If anybody has any questions about the walk or the committee, I'm happy to answer them now. No pressure either. Or if you just wanna come on and say hi, I'd love to say hi to you guys too. <laughs> hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I'm super excited. Um, you know, do we, when are you hoping to get these committees rolling and how should we let you know if we're interested? Is there a deadline if we're not yeah. sure tonight? So the deadline is gonna be May 1st. You can sign up. I'll include the sign up registration link in the email that I'm gonna send out tomorrow. All you have to do is go to this Google form that's right down here. It'll ask for your name, your email, and what position on the walk committee you'd like to take. You can select more than one. So if, for example, you're interested both in distributing t-shirts and being a social media ambassador, you're welcome to do both. It's up to you how much time and energy you have. I know everyone is busy right now, still dealing with the effects of the pandemic, and we're moving into a busy spring and summer season, but any amount of time and energy is so welcomed and we are so grateful for the support. Does that help, Sarah? Yeah, and just to clarify, I could be on the walk committee and still have a walk team, correct? Absolutely, yes. We encourage all the walk committee members to create a team and walk with us on the ninth. Cool, and I only had one other question. If, if I were interested in the Think Tank, Am I committing any extra time or energy in the month besides those meetings? Like, should I, am I going to be assigned extra take home work to do, or is it really just at those meetings? It's a little bit of both. The, the bulk of your time would be in the meeting where we would actively kind of brainstorm together. I think our, our walk leadership team, primarily me, will come and we'll sort of pass some ideas on that we've gotten from the community, from our walk participants, float some ideas by, and then see if anybody else has any connections or ideas that they've come up with on their own that they'd like to share with us. Awesome, love it. 